Continue our conversation with Long Beach Mayor Bob Foster. Bob, let's look at some of the challenges of the city. Of course, the budget each year is a challenge. And again, uh, you've, you've had to uh, uh, make cuts. They basically were proportional cuts. But uh, uh, to your credit, you were able to get pension reform through, which was a major accomplishment that will benefit down the road. Yeah, pension reform is essential, and police and fire have agreed to pension reform. Uh, I'm happy to say I think we're very close with the last remaining group, IAM. I think they will hopefully agree to pension reform, and that will produce uh, all told from all the groups uh, about, if I remember right, about 230 to $40 million well, in savings huge, over 10 years. That's a huge number. It is. It is Without a big number. pension relief, we're perpetually under the gun. It's not sustainable, Art. Yeah. It had to be done. So, you know, we're very financially solid, and I think uh, I want to applaud all the employee groups who stepped up to do this. But one of the real impacts of the budget situation has been the continued reduction in police manning. Now, I've asked you this question on two prior occasions when you've been on the show. Let me ask it again. Would you agree that more boots on the ground means more safety for the city? Yeah, in general, but I don't know if that's the correct question. Look, let's let's be candid here. This is this city is has less crime than it did back way back to the sixties. But, and, but hang but, on, no, 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 no. I think this is important. I learned something when I after I became mayor. It's not just bodies. You know, it's a very simple equation. If you say we're just going to put a, a more police out I, in the street, I and take not your safe. point on that. I know okay. it's technology. But ha having having said that, do I think that we could use that? We need more personnel. Yeah, I think we. We can. had the chief on the show uh, a, a month ago, and uh, uh, crime figures were continuing to improve with less crime year after year. But now it's turned around. We've had the so-called perfect storm with a, with a recession, with the realignment and with the reduced number of police officers. And crime now, figures sadly, are going up in our city. And we asked the chief, and he said if he could get back to the police manning levels of uh, many years ago, which was close to 1,000, that he could turn this uh, trend around. And that's the chief saying. And so you would agree that ultimately more boots means more safety. Uh, generally, but look, I, I, I want to be really clear. That's right. Yeah, generally it's correct. Look, let, let's let's look at what you're working off a really low base. Crime has ticked up a little bit, but you know, lately it's actually it's actually well, leveled the off of again. Number of homicides is up. No, I, no, 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 no. Let's let's wait a little. No, let's wait till the statistics or the figures are in the end of the year. Look, it doesn't matter. Any a lot. One homicide uh, is too uh, many. No, I, look, it's, it, this isn't a numbers game, and it, it always, but you always have to put it in context. You're never going to have no crime. Let's be really candid. You're not going to, and you could put a police officer on every corner, and you'd still have killings. You'd still have crime. The point is to strike a balance. You you want to be able to put enough resources so that you provide reasonable safety for your city, and we're doing that. Do I want more police officers? Yes, I do. And, it, and we have an academy and, this year. And we have an academy, first. and I believe that because we've been prudently managed, we have not used a lot of one-time resources for ongoing expenses. I think we've bottomed out, and I think there will be a time in the, in the near future where we can start now rebuilding some of the but services we've got. when you first ran for mayor, you campaigned on a 100 more police. 100 are. more. That's and correct. And you had gotten to 50, and I then got the halfway recession there. hit. And then things that, went and I, the other And way. I readily admit that's something I could not do. In fact, I believe it's the only thing I haven't been able to make good on. But, you know, I also learned a lot. It's not just numbers. Now, I, I want more police officers. Okay. Look, ultimately what I want, I want to provide the safest big city in California. It doesn't mean you'll always do that by putting people on the street. Because if we don't have street. a safe city, then everything else goes to hell in a hand. Yeah, I, 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 that's correct. It's safety, having safety allows you to do all the other things with the economy and with the kind of social things that we want to do. That's correct. Okay. So we want to be able to have enough resources to be able to be safe. And I, I, I fully admit, one of the first things I will do when we get additional revenue is start rebuilding the force. Okay. And let's turn to firefighters for a moment. There's uh, talk around town. Well, uh, the three-man truck uh, proposal is, I guess, on the table. No, we, we've resolved that last time. I don't believe the, we're deviating from four-person four, four person okay. crews. I don't believe we're doing that. Because there's some rumors about going to the, to the L.A. County firefighters. That's not... No, I don't think okay. that's in the cards. I, look, I, I think you'll see 
a minimal of cuts in this next year's budget. There'll be probably some. Uh, I'm hopeful that by 20, fiscal 2014, we can be structurally balanced. You know, we always are, are faced with a choice that, that the political elite give us. Well, either more taxes or lower services, pick, pick your poison. But it seems to me a way out is to have a more robust business development where we bring business in, we get more tax revenue, and then there's more to go around. We don't have to uh, <coughs> increase taxes and we don't have to cut services. But Long Beach continues to have a non-business friendly reputation among developers, that they, many of them stay away from Long Beach because of the difficulty, the hassle. Other cities have open arms, A teams and all. Why have we not been able to really lick this problem of making Long Beach a really business friendly place? You must be reading old press releases, Art, because I don't believe that that's Long Beach's reputation any longer. We did have that. Uh, I will tell you the LAADC, I think it was two or three years ago, named us the most business friendly city uh, in LA County. And what we've just done, uh, and it, uh, it opened about three months ago, <clears throat> is we've created a one-stop shop. You now go for permits on the fourth floor down in City Hall, and you have a horseshoe, and you have it well signed. You go to Bismarck permits, business license, you go to, everybody is there, it's a one-stop shop. We cut fees by one third because the process is more is, is much more efficient, and you now the the culture there now has changed. Now you have people that want to facilitate you getting I hope started. So because no, it's not a question of hope. Go talk to people that have used it. It's not that you have to jump through these hoops. You don't. If you you, you, uh, you do not to have help, to go. Not to, no, not the, I, no. The idea is to facilitate your either your remodel, your home construction your new business, and you talk to people that have used this, and they have got nothing but praise for this. Well, this, is, this is shorten the amount of time you have, to, you have to wait. It's made it more certain of to what you have to do, because you still have requirements, and it's, it's lowered the cost. Well, that's good news indeed, but uh, as you uh, suggested in your answer, we did have a reputation of being business unfriendly that yeah. needed to be addressed. Absolutely, and, and it takes a while. has been. And maybe it takes a while for the reality to catch up with the image, but uh, it's so important. Actually, it's, it's, it's worse than that. It, it takes a long time to, for the reality to catch up. Once you get a reputation for not being business friendly, you have to go, you have to do almost Herculean things to change that reputation. So if someone should face a problem, yeah. can they call your office and say, hey, we're getting the runaround? Every, everybody who, uh, anybody that comes to this city with a development, almost always has my cell phone, and I will tell you, uh, they're not going to need to do that, but they certainly can. But we, you know, you, you can look even downtown with the new Molina project. That's going to be almost a thousand jobs coming yeah. to downtown Long Beach. Yeah. And, and we, the old press we worked building. hand in hand to facilitate that development, to get that done. The city did a very good job there. But the Molina is a part of this community and well Doesn't known. Doesn't matter. To, it should be But if some anybody. outside person from Arizona or Texas or whatever... Go. They'll Go, also get a first-class treatment. We don't, we, we, yes, we're, we, we don't distinguish between whether or not you're a friend <laughs> or an outsider. We, if you're going to come to Long Beach and you're going to employ people and you're going to conduct business, we want you here and we will facilitate you being here. Okay, we'll be back with more of our show after these messages. How do you like your chances the rest of the way? I got no idea. But I do know that if we stay with Naples Rib Company, at least we won't go hungry. Coach, what do you think about some of those questionable calls tonight? Oh, yeah, but if you want a sound call, I'd call Naples Rib Company. You can't miss on that call. Then Naples Rib Company is part of your game plan? There really is nothing more motivating than a great barbecue meal at Naples Rib Company. Victory or not, Naples Rib Company, great game plan. At Performance Plus Tire, you'll find we carry Toyo tires. For over 50 years, Toyo has been a world leader in the development of high-quality tires. Optimum performance, safety, and a comfortable ride. That's what makes Toyo tires great. And now come into Performance Plus Tire for a great deal on these Toyo tires. Proxies ST, Open Country AT, and Proxies 4. Toyo tires, driven to perform. Come in today and we'll install new Toyo tires on your vehicle while you wait. Performance Plus Tire on Cherry Avenue, one mile north of the 405 in Long Beach. 
As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.